Moving on to part, part seven, seven, which is uh, Steel Ball Run, which is uh, my favorite part overall. All right. Uh, and I think a lot of Margarita's favorite parts part overall. Uh, which is really cool. This is the main character stand. This, uh, similar to Echoes, uh, there's four of them. Okay. And it's an evolutionary chain. Okay. And they all more or less do similar things. Okay. Here we go. Um, I mean, my most immediate thought is to name it Pink. The Just Pink. Musician, yeah. Oh, I love her. Um... Okay, going by, like, Pokemon rules, the one at the top left is the first evolution. Yes. The one at the top right, second. Mm -hmm. One at the bottom left, third. And then the big thing is the last one. That's correct. Um, um, uh, I, I, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> they, they're, they're star platinum again. They, they just punch real hard. They punch real good. They're really tough to beat, and they punch. Awesome. E even the really little one? Even e the little fetus pig thing. <laughs> it doesn't punch. It actually is. Com it's like a magic carp where, <laughs> where its user has to like protect it for like the first ten chapters, but then it evolves into the second thing and just murders whatever was threatening them. <laughs> You know, it is kind of like a magic carp in that sense. Uh, you, you are wrong, though. Okay. His name is Tusk. Tusk, okay. Tusk. Okay. And Tusk's ability is linked with the spin. Right. Now, the spin is complete horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hamon, but even crazier. Do you need to use your breathing to make it no. work? No. Okay. I don't know how the fuck it works. So and I've read all of Steel Ball Run. So it's better than Hamon. No, it's way better, but it's way harder to use. Oh, okay. Less people can use it than Hamon. All right. Uh, so parts, acts one, two, and three all essentially do the same thing, but they get stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay. Uh, he, he spins his nails. Okay. And then he can use them as projectiles. Okay. So he shoots his nails. That's definitely Act 1. Act 2 and 3 are more powerful, and they themselves can also interact and fight. Part Act 1 can like barely do anything because mm -hmm. it's small and tiny and cute. Yeah. And I want a plushie of him. Act 4 is where things get nuts. Uh -huh. Act 4 can use what's called the golden spin. Okay, so it's Frieza, gold. It is based off the golden triangle. Uh, rectangle, not triangle. I'm stupid. Rectangle? Uh, it's essentially a Fibonacci sequence. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's the power of infinity. <laughs> okay. And it breaks everything. As you do. And it's knuck and fut, and it's really hard to describe. But essentially, he punches things into infinity. Well, hey, I mean, go big or go home. I agree. Moving on. This motherfucker. You know what? I, I honestly thought that was coming out of the guy's chest. <laughs> it does kind of look like that, yeah. Um, so this is the main antagonist, Stan. Yes. Um, is this... Um, got them bunny rabbit He's ears. got Mickey Mouse. Actually, no, those are more like... Uh, you know what? That is Bugs Bunny ears. Yeah, he's got that's Bugs, Bugs Bunny. Bunny. That's Looney Tunes. That's right there. That's, that's Looney, Looney Tunes. Tunes. That's Looney Tunes, and his power is he can he can just he can slice whatever he wants off with those ears. Oh Jesus, that's terrifying. But wrong. Um, you're gonna start kicking yourself. This is D4C. This is Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. I'm out. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't leave. No. How? Dare you? <laughs> How dare you this do is this? Dirty to me? deeds done dirt cheap. I am so angry right now. <laughs> you guessed it like three times on I, other stands. I am so Beautiful. angry. <laughs> All right, what's dirty? What's what is 
nice deeds done at a reasonable price is power. Fil- filthy acts, filthy at, a acts at a reasonable price. What's he do? Just so, lay it on me. So D4C can teleport things to alternate realities. Mm-hmm. He does this by covering someone with something. For example, and this is what he traditionally uses for his, his user, uh, the American flag. Okay. As long as the the person D4C is trying to send to another dement- to another reality is sandwiched between two objects, they are, they are, can be sent to another reality. Okay. He can also teleport his user to another reality, or just parts of its user to another reality. Yes. Okay. To save itself. Yes, I understand. Totally. Completely. If <laughs> if a person that it sends there comes in contact with its alternate universe version of itself, they both die. He looks like Dio, so that would have uh, been an interesting thing to Actually, see. weirdly enough, the alternate, the, the Steel Ball Run version of Dio is actually poking his head in on the side of the, of the, of the, Are you serious? The frame there. Yeah, that, right, poking his head in very slightly is Diego Brando. All right, then. Uh, of course, his user is immune to the negative effects of his stance. Right, so he can just team up with his alternate self. Yeah, literally, there's moments in near the end of Steel Ball Run where his user dies, uses his ability on himself in the last minute, and replaces himself Fantastic. with another version of himself. Fantastic. Also, his name is Funny Valentine, and he's the president of the United States. You know, we probably would elect someone named that. I would, I would vote for someone named Funny Valentine. You'll love Valentine. What a slogan. Hey. And he, he is president in the, the 1890s. 1890s? What? Yeah, Steel Ball Run takes place in the 1890s. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Moving on to probably the stand get, that gets shat on the most. Ah, oh, my favorite stand, D4C. <laughs> yes, this is D4C <laughs> as well. I'm still angry over that. <laughs> No, okay, he looks like an actual coward in this picture. Um, he, um, he can't have a cool name if people are insulting him. I think he has a cool name. Why'd you have to ruin it for me like that? <laughs> I'm going to say his name is... Um, um, um. Let's leave it there. It's um. It's crazy frog. Crazy Frog. He looks like Crazy Frog, honestly. Oh, my God. You know, actually, this stand was released at the time that Crazy Frog was really popular. Yeah, so that makes the most sense. It better be the name. And its power is literally makes everyone else braver by comparison to itself. You're close on the power. You're close. His name is Hey Ya. Like the Andre 3000 song? It's an Outcast song, but yeah. Outcast song. Okay. And hey what's he do? Ya. What's he do? So, Heya gives words of encouragement. So he's 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 the speed wagon of the group. Well, no, he barely appears. Also, Poco Loco, his his user there, also is barely barely appears. But he actually wins the race. He, Poco Loco actually wins the Steel Ball Run race. He comes Clearly. in first place. Clearly, this um, this uh, universe restart they did, uh, they created the worst timeline. They uh, I disagree. <laughs> they <laughs> absolutely ruined everything, and um, uh, part seven <laughs> onward is uh, the worst JoJo. Don't say that. It's wrong. <laughs> All right. So, to be perfectly honest, Hey Ya has another ability. It better be better than that. It can see the future. That is honestly a bit better. Okay, I'll give it that. It can see the future, and it will tell its user to avoid certain things or to do certain things to help him win. You know what? That's all right. That's okay. Yeah, I, I like I like Ki. He's a cute little guy. Oh, he, he's an ugly motherfucker, but he, he's he's a good little guy. All right, fair enough. Right. Okay, moving on. He looks like. A... Is the dinosaur the stand? Yes, the dinosaur is the stand. Walk the Dinosaur is his name. All right. And his his power is that little, like, mechanism on his head. 
okay. can make him think he is anyone in uh, in existence. I thought you were going to be way more specific than that. That was going to be funny. Look, you're going to say so. He can think he's anyone in Cleveland, Ohio. His, he's got Dio written on his spine. So he like, did. I was I'm, hoping you were going to notice that. So I'm going to go on a limb and say, no, you know what? He th- he thinks he's Dio. He just or he is Dio. He's just an alternate version of Dio from like some prehistoric reality. Okay. Well, Dio is the stand user. What? The world, though it. He does get the world later. What? What? I, this did is he, did Diego he, Brando. Wait, this is like... Diego Brando. Alternate version of Dio. Is he the stand user or is that Diego? Both. Okay. So this is Scary Monsters. That is a terrible name. I preferred mine. I agree. Scary Monsters can turn its user... And any other living creature into a dinosaur. It's not really a monster, but okay. It's cool power. Yeah, that's, it's all right. That's not. That's decent. He usually turns himself into this, which is a Utah raptor, but it's blue because it's his colors. That's yeah, not bad. I like scary monsters. I think scary monsters is a really cool ability. It's really. It gets really scary when he starts turning uh, Johnny and his 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 uh, his buddies into into dinosaurs. All right, I'll give it that. All right. Uh, another edition of what the hell is the stand? Okay, so the the, the stand is that that's cologne. That's cologne, right? That's uh, no, it's not a cologne. Is that bottle. a Zippo? No. Is it a lighter? No. Is it a? It, it's supposed to be more like a bottle of shaving cream. Okay, so okay, you know what? The the, the stand is the shaving cream itself. Ah, the stand is the shaving cream itself. And it has the power. It just becomes like a blob that consumes whatever it touches, like a like what uh, gray nanobots is what they called. Okay, what's its name? Its name is "Be a Man from Mulan." Be a man from Mulan. The, the, that's all the those full, words exactly. Yes, that's the full name. Be a man from Mulan. Uh, this is Cream Starter. Should I continue? Please do. Because so the cream starter, it is actually, the stand is actually the can. Oh, that's, no, okay. All right. And what it's shooting is flesh. Pardon? It shoots flesh. Like human flesh or yes. flesh in general? Human flesh. Is it someone's flesh? Yes. Whose? Usually not hers. Does it, does she, like shooting out the flesh cause a person to lose their flesh and die? Uh, it you, it takes someone else's flesh and turns it into a cream. And does that kill the person it takes it from? Uh, if she takes too much, yeah. What is the usage of this in a fight? Uh, it can u- be used to heal people. It can be used to blind people. That makes me uncomfortable. It the can healing be used part to suffocate people theoretically. Uh, the healing thing comes when uh, Araki. 100% forgot that this stand requires flesh to be fed into it in order to work. He just forgot that part this is and like just s- uses it with no consequence. This is some Junji Ito stuff right here. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you. Uh, would you like me to tell you the name of the user? Because her name is great. Her name is Hot Pants. <laughs> Hot Pants. Okay. I can't wait to hear someone yell hot pants every time they want to talk to her during a fight. Right. Another edition of what the fuck is the stand? Is, st- is part seven just like... There's a lot of very subtle stands in part seven. Okay. Um, There's not a lot of like really big stands that just start punching each other. Okay, like is the stand three. the cloak? The stand is not the cloak. The mask? The stand is the mask. It it's is bound to the mask. It's bound to the mask. Okay. In that case, its name is... Um, that's the name. Nom, 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 nom. Name is Iron Maiden, and Iron it's, Maiden I'm again. Just, we're going Iron Maiden again. Yes, I'm falling back on it. You know, no, it's yeah, yeah, it's Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, and it changes the user's uh, personal gravity to allow them to basically walk up air. Uh, no, that's not correct. Uh, I'm just basically <laughs> repeating powers because kind of yeah. 
This stand's name is Catch the Rainbow. I just noticed there's a rainbow on the mask. Okay, and what does it do? Catch the Rainbow makes gives its user incredible powers when it's raining. Okay. For example, uh, his body can merge with the rain, so he is completely invulnerable. All right. He can walk on rain. Okay. He can sort of swim through the air. He can throw rain at people and freeze the rain and hurt people with rain. However, if it stops raining, he has no power. You know what? That this this is the kind of stuff I expect from like a JoJo it's kind a, of yeah. anime. Like it's like, wacky. No, yeah, it's wacky, but like it's got like it's not completely overpowered. It's got some interesting usages. Like I can definitely see some creativity. Not absolute nonsense. <laughs> like Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. This is one of the reasons that he restarted the universe, because he was running out of ways to make stands. Yeah, that himself. makes sense. So, um, again, right. like I said, good idea. Uh, moving on to probably one of my favorite, another one of my favorite stands. Not probably. Another one of my favorite stands. Okay. It looks like it's got, cow- like, cowboy boots. Those kind of, like, flashy. Yeah, like, it does jiggly. look like cowboy boots. Um, well, it's got, like, a spoiler for a head. <laughs> yeah. And a vest. He does have a fashionable vest. <laughs> He's just wearing um, a vest. It, it reminds me of those guys who, like, I can't, robots is their name. Like, the, those guys who have, like, the pyramid heads and they do, like, the whip it, whip it good in that song. Oh, no, that's, um, the wizards, the, no, they have a name and I'm totally blanking on it. Okay, Shit. well, assume, since you're blanking on it, I, I'm going to take that as a sign. That's not its name. Um... Uh, I'm going to name this one because he's got cowboy boots, achy, breaky heart. Achy, breaky heart. And his power is he's lonely because <laughs> he, he, does can, pretty lonely. <laughs> he can only befriend um, things that are broken. That's really sad. Yeah. It's also wrong. But it's so sw- sweet. Even more sad. Uh, it, it, you're going to regret ma- being sad about him. Uh, this is Civil War. Okay. Civil War's ability is to make you feel guilty. Oh, it gives you intrusions and scruples. Yeah. It will resurrect anything that you're guilty about. Ah. So, it's literally, items that you've lost. It's literally my mental people, illness. Fantastic. The stand user. <laughs> if you kill the stand user to try to make it stop, you will feel guilty about killing the stand user. And the stand will bring its user back to life. That's actually really cool. It's such a cool stand. I fucking love it. Fantastic. Uh, so Civil War, named after the Guns N' Roses song. Mm. And of course, its user is Axl Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's a good one. And we're done with part seven. Part seven. All right, we're down to the last. I always can't do math. I want to say five. I'm pretty sure it's five. Last, last five, five or six. I'm going to say five of part eight. Okay. And this is just like a cherry pick of my favorite from part eight because part eight is part fucking eight's... weird. And it's also still going and on. And it's still going. Time. It's not done yet. All right. So n- this is the main main JoJo stand in part eight. Part seven went by real quick. Um, oh, he's... yeah. I tried to limit myself. Okay. He's got <laughs> like a trident on his chest. So I'm going to assume it has something to do with the ocean. Um gonna say main jojo does dress like a sailor okay so um village people is his name village people and his power is he he is completely um on let's see sailor jojo uh he he can only affect things that have water on them like he can he can't hit you unless you have water on you and when he does, he's as power. He's more powerful than um, Star Platinum the world. That is uber specific, and wrong. Mm-hmm. This is soft and wet. <laughs> I don't want to know what band's name that. Okay. Uh, there is, it's not a band. It's a Prince song. Okay. Okay. Which is ironic because Prince is the entire reason why JoJo stands are censored in America. Thanks a lot, Prince. Yeah, fuck you, Prince. Dude, he's dead. Don't. Good. 
Stay dead. Anyways. Uh, anyway, salt and wet. Uh, its main ability is plunder. Plunder? Plunder. It's it a pirate? It steals something from someone. For example, their eyesight. Or their friction. That's cool. So, like, his, the classic thing that he does is he steals the friction from, or from, uh, from the ground, and he, like, slides down after someone. That's all right, actually. Yeah, Salt and Wet's pretty cool. All right, moving all right. on. Uh, part 8 doesn't have a main antagonist yet. Uh, I yes. guess you could, you could... I've heard people argue that right now... I've heard people argue two things. Uh, the most popular argument is that it's the character Jobin... And his, uh, his stand, Speed King. But he's not really much of an antagonist. He's been antagonistic, but he's not really evil. Okay. So, I don't know. We haven't seen anything yet. So, we're just going to move on. Uh, looks like Nuts and Bolts. I'm going to name him Nuts and Bolts. Uh, okay. And his power is he can take the screws out of anything. He can take things apart and destroy them. You are surprisingly dead on. Oh, yeah. You got his English name. His n- English name is Nuts and Bolts? Yeah, his English localization name is Nuts and Bolts. Ah, <laughs> good enough. His real name is <clears throat> Nut King Cole. Sorry, Call. Call. Nut King Call. Nothing Call. No, Nut. Yeah, okay. King Call. Okay. As in Nat King Cole. I don't. I still don't get this. It's it's a play on Nat King Cole because Nut King Cole and Nat King Cole Cole in Japanese are spelled the same. What's Nat King Cole? You don't know Nat King Cole? No. He's a very famous jazz singer. I don't listen to jazz, so he, he's he's like from the go- the golden age of jazz. Well, good for him. And what's his power? <laughs> was it, was I dead on with the power? You too? were very you, you you got it. You got the idea that he takes things apart. Uh, he can take anything apart with nuts and bolts. Okay, as in people too. We don't have bolts. though. I know. Okay, but the stand can make it so. Okay, so he the stand like sort of. Taps you, and you fall apart, and there'll be screws and nuts everywhere. Ouch, that sounds painful. I heard a great argument that this is going to become, the, like, the most powerful stand ever. I mean, it sounds like it. It's and it's going to take apart the world. <laughs> but we, the weird thing is, much like a lot of great ideas in the early parts of JoJolian, we haven't seen Nut King Cull in forever. <laughs> Well, he hasn't made an appearance. He's planning in years. He's planning on be like he's resting up. I for don't when he believe shows that. Up. I think Iraqi just forgot about him. What a shame. Much like the wall eyes. But not Paisley Park somehow. All right. Uh, so name Mr. Dildo over here. Um. This one looks. It looks pearl. It looks like uh very rich. Very uh, other, otherworldly. I'm going to call this one uh, E.T. E.T. And um, the extraterrestrial. And it's power. The extra testicle. The sure whatever. The power is literally it um, um, It climbs. It uses those it suction cups. Climbs. Climb. <laughs> it climbs. It climbs. <laughs> yes. I it, love it. It has four different I legs for different terrains, I love as it. you can see. That is not what it does. What's it do? Its name is Fun Fun Fun. I don't like how you say that after calling him Mr. Dildo. <laughs> That's his name. It's Fun Fun Fun. Okay, what's he do? So Fun 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 can control your your body as long as two criteria are met. One, the part of your body has a wound. An open wound. Okay. Two, the stand and the user are physically above the target. Okay. It's a very specific stand. I mean, you know what? These creative specifics are kind of cool. Yeah, but fun, fun, fun is stupid. Okay. All right, moving on. All right. Okay, okay. there's like, is that thing at the top? A different stand, or is no? It like it's a, a close-up of its face. Okay, this one is. It's got leather. It's uh, rebellious. It's, um. Uh, 
doesn't care for your rules. It's born this way. Oh my god! This one is Lady Gaga's Born This Way, and it's just it just it runs you over with motorcycle. Literally, that's all it does. It's its user doesn't even really control it that much. Like it whenever it feels like it, it shows up to hit you with a motorcycle. That's my guess. Well, you got the name right. Oh yeah. It is this is born this way. Born this way. Born this way though is not an automatic stand like that. Okay. It is a controlled stand. A long range stand though. Uh it hunts you down and then it freezes you. It freezes it, it's you. It's another ice power stand. Okay. There's a lot of ice in this. Yeah. I like born this way. I think it's it's an interesting concept, but again, it doesn't get used very often. Okay then. Or actually, I don't think it's been used since it was released. Okay. All right, moving on. This is concerning. It looks like a <laughs> it's concerning. A conscience alien cactus. <laughs> um, I'm going to call this one down under because of that. Um, and its power is Power is it shoots those spikes out, Ooh, spiky but it boy. only has so many spikes, and it needs to recollect the ones it fired. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, this stand's name is "I Am a Rock." Okay. Siren Garfunkel song. I am a rock. I am an island. What's it do? Uh, it punches things. <laughs> okay. And then it makes that thing that it punched uh, attracted by other objects around it. So it makes it a magnet? Yes and no. So it's basically the outlet again? Yes and no. Because it's like rocks and shit. It like crushes <laughs> them with, with rocks. Okay. It's, uh, I'm probably going to get called out on, on this stand. And like, I'm going to be told, no, it's not exactly what it does. But it, it like, it forces you to be crushed by an object around you. That's not, that's not that bad. Yeah, I'm a rock's okay. This is the last stand. Last stand. Here of we the are. Night. That's the only one that I couldn't even get a color picture of. Yikes. It look Is it wearing a gi? That looks like a gi it symbol. It does look on like a shoulder. Gi. Um I can't even guess this guy. <laughs> um I mean, No, you never will. Its user looks like either a Russian uh, combatant or Kyle from South Park. <laughs> and I can't even see its colors, so... Uh, it's blue. Blue? It's blue with red eyes. Eiffel 85, then. Eiffel 95, whatever those guys... The guy who makes on blue, da ba dee ba ba die that thing. Yes. And uh, his power is... Um, he just uses whatever that thing in his user's hand is to, like... He can tie it up with those whisks he has for arms and just make spaghetti out of people. No. I'm giving up at this yeah. point. We're at the last You're on the last one. Know. You're, you're on the right track. So first off, his name is Doggy Style. Doggy Style? Yes. Ew. He's named after the Snoop Dogg album. Oh, no, that doesn't help. <laughs> no, that does not help. Uh, yeah, probably not. So Doggy Style actually has the exact same ability as Stone Free. It's, so it's a copy? Yes, but it can't actually punch things, unlike Stone Free, which could. Okay, then. But he, d he takes an idea that he – Araki took an idea that he did before, and he does it differently. So, like, it focuses more on using – his turning his body into strings as a weapon. Like, uh -huh. he turns his arm into a fucking crossbow. Okay. Which is fucking cool. And he shoots it at a rock bird. Rock bird, okay. Named Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. End me. Hard rend, eight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> rend me from this earth. Go There's a lot of rock people. Go back to part four. I want I want to be back in part four. <laughs> We haven't even gotten through part three. You know what? I'm I'm gonna make an, a, a prediction that part three and four are gonna be my favorite parts, and I'm just gonna want to keep going back to them because part eight literally sounds <laughs> terrifying. 
It's not done yet. Like part six and seven sound like no, wait, part five and six sound like they're just things get too powerful. It just gets so crazy you don't want to deal with it, and now these this other universe is just scary. Uh, I think parts five and six are fun uh, with their with their absurd powers. Part seven is awesome because it's a it's a fucking horse race across America. We'll see to it when we get to them. I say, uh, if part six, seven, and eight ever get animated, <laughs> I mean we haven't even gotten to part three yet. So like also true. Also, part five is still being animated right now. Uh, we're only on the Clash Talking Head fight, uh, where I'm at, uh, just to date myself, <laughs> for when this comes out probably in, like, three weeks, <laughs> when we're long past that fight. Well, maybe not. This has been fun. Yeah, this was a good time. Uh, I'm, re- I'm still really happy I actually got some of those. You nailed a lot of them. You nailed more than I thought you were going to. Steel Chariot, still my favorite stand now. Can't wait to see <laughs> you in part three. Yeah! God, you're going to be so disappointed. Anyway. <laughs> Why do you have to ruin my fun? <laughs> Because I love it. Anyway, uh, this has been a fun video. Uh, we have recorded over two hours of footage. Well, all right then. You have fun editing that. This is going to take me forever to get to edit. <laughs> uh, so whenever this finally uh, hits YouTube, uh, this is John and John. And John. And John. Signing the fuck off. <laughs>